With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So our question is, the velocity of a body depends on the time according to the equation v is equals to t square upon 10 plus 20. The body is undergoing our options are uniform acceleration, uniform retardation, non-uniform acceleration and zero acceleration. First of all, let us know what is uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration is when our acceleration is constant and positive. Okay. And uniform retardation is when our acceleration is constant but negative. Okay. Now talking about the non-uniform acceleration. So non-uniform acceleration will be when our acceleration is not constant. Okay. And zero acceleration is when acceleration is zero. Now the equation given to us is velocity v is equals to t square upon 10 plus 20. Okay. So on differentiating the velocity, we will get our acceleration. So acceleration will be rate of change of velocity. So this will be equals to d upon dt into t square upon 10 plus 20. So from here it will be 2t. Our acceleration will come as 2t upon 10 so this will be t upon 5 okay now as we can see that our acceleration is dependent on time okay so what we can say that acceleration is positive but variable as our time cannot be negative so acceleration will always be positive but it is variable as if we put time as 1, it will be 1 by 5. If we put time as 2, then acceleration will be 2 by 5. So we can see that with time it is varying. So what we can say that our option number 3, that is non-uniform acceleration, will be the correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.